Beloved, it's a great privilege to be here with McLean. He's 26 years old and making the decision to trust totally to Jesus. Can you say amen to that? Amen. McLean, because you love the Lord Jesus, because you want to serve him with all of your heart, you want to trust to his death as your death, the death that you deserve, and his burial as the burial that you deserved, his resurrection as your hope of a future resurrection. It is my great privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. You can stay or you can... It's okay. Be careful. Madri, because you love the Lord Jesus, because you want to trust to him, to his death, to the burial that he experienced that should have been yours, and to his resurrection as your only hope of a future resurrection. Madri, it is my great privilege as a minister of the gospel, and seeing you here as a child, a daughter of God, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> hey, praise the Lord. Amen. Hey, you, you can stay or hold your hand. Nancy, where's Holly? Nancy, it brings me great joy and great happiness to see one of my dear African sisters from the Congo, a young woman who wants to serve the Lord and trust Him. It brings me great privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Jovic, because you love the Lord, because you've made the decision to trust to his death, to his burial, and to his resurrection as your only hope of a future resurrection, it is my privilege and my honor as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. want to say something here about Christine. Christine came to me two or three days ago, three days ago I think it was, and she was very honest with me and I, I very much appreciated it. She said, Pastor, <laughs> she said, Pastor, 
I'm having a hard time listening to what you're saying because you're white. <laughs> she said, can I be honest with you? It's hard for me to hear what you're saying because you're white. And uh, she sat down and she was so honest and I, I told her how much I appreciated that. Now she wasn't being racist or anything, but she's like, who is this guy? And we had an excellent conversation and the Spirit of God has done something very special in Christine's life as well as all of the candidates. And immediately I just felt a, a connection. I could just tell that God was doing something in this young lady's life. She's been through a difficult time, but the worst is behind her and the best is before her. And something I want to say to all of you and I want to say to Christine, Christine, every sinner has a past. Every, every saint has a past, but every sinner has a future. And God has a future for you. Hold me close. That's where it is. Thank you. Christine, because you love the Lord Jesus and you want to trust to Him, totally to Him, not to a man, you want to trust to Jesus, it is my great privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the, and as your friend, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now take his hand so you don't slip. shy because you love the Lord Jesus and you want to say that the death that Jesus died was the death that I deserved the burial that he experienced was the burial that I should have experienced and his resurrection is my only hope of resurrection and eternal life it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit Amen I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Thank you. Praise God. last candidate tonight is Ruth and I just told her the last shall be first and the first shall be last Ruth because you love the Lord and because you want to trust to him totally and completely from this day forward you're not saying that you're perfect but you are putting your trust in Jesus who was perfect a perfect Savior Ruth it is my great privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, very well. Amen. Let's pray together for our candidates. Father in heaven, you have seen these beautiful seven candidates that have made this decision. Father, you know them by name, and you knew them even before they had names. Lord, we know that based on Scripture, after the baptism was when Jesus experienced what up to that time was his most difficult trial in the wilderness. And Father, I pray for these seven candidates and for those that have made the decision that we had the prayer for, those that have come forward. I pray, Father, that over the course of the next 40 days, as they go through what will undoubtedly be a wilderness experience, Father, I pray that you would be with them, that you would strengthen them, that you will stay close to them and keep them faithful. 
We thank you, Father, for this beautiful ceremony and for these beautiful people and the trust that they have put in you, a beautiful God. We thank you, Father, for the fact that these are just a representative, the first fruits of those that are going to be baptized all over the Philippines as a result of the ministry of the empowered young people that you are raising up, a generation of young people. Please, Father, do that. And may we have the privilege of being a part of it is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let all of God's sons and daughters and friends say, Amen.